welcome to Wellington Point, and it's beautiful out there. And uh, a 20 minute drive from Brisbane is all it takes. And we'll be walking out to King Island, and it will be happy days. And it's all about finding a car park here. Woo! Low tide, happy days. Well, I've established the campsite in all its glory and it's very, very low tide. Give it two hours, we'll have something to eat and uh, that water will come up to where that lighter shade of sand is, just here, and it'll be a nice little island adventure and possibly up to ankle deep out there. But at the moment, very low tide. Here is the campsite, that took me 2 minutes and 12 seconds to set up, happy days. And Celeste is getting something to eat. Beautiful. Heading to King Island. This is going to be a hoot. Plenty of sea life out there and uh, people are starting to come in in their droves. Great part of Brisbane. A nice little day trip. Let's do this. And an hour later and it's starting to come in. So we're going to make inroads to King Island. Let's do this. As the kayakers make their way across from Birkdale, it is Kangaroo Point, and out there is North Stradbroke. Fish are jumping, sea life is starting to take place, plenty of big stingrays out there. And a month or so ago, a big crocodile was spotted out there. But uh, that's okay. It's happy days. Beautiful. Out here is Manly. Birkdale out here. And this is the point of Wellington. AKA Wellington Point. North Stradbroke Island. Plenty of people around. And the tide is just coming in. Oh yes. What do you think Celeste? Nice. Nice? Just nice? Looks beautiful. It's beautiful. Wonderful cloud formation up here. And King Island is looking tropical as we make our way across the sand dunes. And heaps and heaps of birds. Very, very noisy. And halfway across this wonderful sand strip it's been cut in half that's pretty cool little feature that happens of course every time and uh, what it ultimately means is that and it is so hot what it ultimately means is that we'll be walking back in knee deep water but that's okay it's like a real warm bath Beautiful. And there's some sharp shells down here. Ah, beautiful.
halfway there. So now we enter the northern part of the strip and we have that King Island there. Plenty of boats around it is as calm as a mill pond. Oh it's a good day out. I recommend a little one hour and a half walk, day trip. You can make that into half an hour if you want. You can make it into two hours, doesn't matter. But uh, people are pretty relaxed and very very happy. As the tide comes in. Oh yes. This is a good day. They're good days those. You don't get many days like this. 30 degrees every day in summer. 30 degrees plus. And we're joined by two others. Get off my island. Celeste. Hello. <laughs> She's taking a photo. Um, the water is absolutely perfecto. It is so calm. There are plenty of stingrays out here, so watch yourself. But uh, it's just gradually coming in. As we look across to Morton Island through there with that sandy knoll, that is North Stray Broke there. I believe that's Mud Island there. And just behind that is St. Helena Island, which is my favourite island. Beautiful. But it's second favourite to King Island, this one here. What do you think, Celeste? Good water temp? Yes, perfect. Perfect all. Just like the Philippines, only not as nice, and better, if that makes sense. Whoa. Happy days, as we see a scampering of fish making their way to the next island I think. They're quite big. Of course there used to be a family that lived on this island back in the early 1900s. One of the Kidleywinks had polio so they were doing a bit of isolating and right here is the warmest part I've ever seen and here's a something over here. No, it's just a rock. Don't worry guys, it's just a rock. As the plane goes over. Woo. And the fish go out this way. We're joined by more people. Oh what a feeling. Oh what a day. And a fear thee well from the northern part of the island. As we go through the middle, through the centre of King Island. And it is as still as. But um, the mangroves have remained, and the tropical trees, to make it slightly sheltered from the big sun. Mangoes. So let's stay. You have the island to yourself. Okay. <laughs> Why? Because? I don't know. She's learning Spanish. And doing very well. Let's turn the camera off for these people. It's golden. Oh, well, that's officially a fear thee well from King Island and Wellington Point. As the strip of sand 
remains golden. And I tell you what, that was a golden day. Any Brisbane families that have been brought up here and have never been to Wellington Point, dear oh dear, come out here for the morning. It's about 11 a.m. now, 30 degrees, and the tide is still coming in, which will make it even more glorious at about 12. I think high tide is 12.48 p.m. Just went for a swim, super warm water, and a very, very relaxing Sunday. I can't see because the seaweed is, sorry, the sea water has blinded me. And Celeste up there with all her friends. Uh, fear thee well. And of course this little part of the equation officially makes it an island. Who would have thought? A little nice little passage with warm water, just watch your footing. But um how good is that? All in the space of two hours. It's only revealed the nice golden part of the sands. Beautiful. As we overlook Wellington Point. And another little passageway has opened up. Pretty soon, give it an hour, it'll be knee deep all the way out. I'm gonna come out here on a very windy day. It's never, never windy out here though anyway. Well it is in the afternoon. So even though it's calm as at the moment, it can get a little windy. Around about four o'clock or so. But it's only 11.30, so happy days, we'll make our way back to Wellington Point and sit down and get an ice cream. What a day! Brilliant! And two hours later, as previously pointed out, we have just a beautiful golden strip of sand. Wonderful stuff. And uh, a hive of activity both sides of the strip of sand. Wonderful stuff. High tide, 12.48. And there's our little campsite. No ice creams because I'm not waiting 20 minutes to line up for a bloody ice cream. You gotta get here early, there's hardly any car parks. And you gotta time it right. I'd say get here about half past 10 in the morning. You'll really battle for a car park, but it would be perfect like this to walk out there. Happy days.